Yo, what's up guys? My name is Chilin Du. First of all, I want to apologize to all my subscribers and fans out there that I didn't upload the video for such a long time. And I want to make it up to you. That's why I'm going to show you in this video how to build an electric skateboard. Um, I built an electric pedal board. It's very cool. It goes up to 22 kilometers per hour. And um, yeah, let's, let's get it started. As you can see, the skateboard is almost finished. I already had it running perfectly. There's only one weak spot and the weak spot is this screw here. This screw did loosen itself and that's why I used the opportunity and disassembled the whole skateboard so I can build the skateboard again to show you how to build it again. So if you're gonna build this board, watch out and make sure that this screw is pretty tight. I mean, I had a lot of fun. And my friends had a lot of fun <laughs> and just for a hundred bucks you can build yourself such a cool thing and I think it's really worth it so what did I order um, a transmitter and a receiver the wheels and the bearings for the wheels a motor the motor mount and the electronic speed controller ESC. One part that I didn't have to buy for this project was the battery because I already had a 4 cell battery for my quadcopter that I've built previously. You will probably have to spend about 40 to 50 euros for a 4 cell battery and a capacity of 5.5 amp hours. Yeah, that's the last part that you will need. Well, it's pretty easy. You got three big components. Your motor, the electronic speed controller and your receiver. The electronic speed controller is the most important part because you connect every other component to the ESC. So you connect your battery to the ESC. You connect your motor to the ESC. Well, here's a little clip. You got three wires from your ESC and three wires from your motor and you just connect them. It doesn't matter which wire of the motor you connect to the wire of the electronic speed controller because this only affects the motor's direction of the rotation. So if you switch two wires, the motor won't spin this way, the motor will spin this way. But since you got this transmitter, you have a pretty cool switch here which says throttle reverse. So if you notice that when you give positive throttle like this, your skateboard goes backwards. So you just flip the switch and your board is supposed to go forward if you give positive throttle. With your ESC comes a little connector plug like this one. Red obviously for positive, black for ground and white for a signal and this is your receiver and the second channel here is used for speed control so you're gonna connect your plug to the second channel like this i glued the electronic speed controllers on and off switch to the back side of my lunchbox now regarding the housing you must be a bit creative. You can use carbon fiber, you can use wood, you can even use fiberglass sheets. So I used just a lunchbox, which I cut it with this cutter that I heated with this Bunsen burner. So I used this lunchbox to keep all my electronic parts inside and usually if the battery is inside, this box is closed. So I can turn the whole setup on and off by just flipping the switch on the back side. You can hear the electronic speed controllers fan just going on. So and if I turn on my transmitter you will see that my setup works. So um, basically you have your axle here 
and this was a very big problem for me because um, this thing here, this pulley goes right onto the axle as you can see it doesn't fit there so what did I have to do? I had to file this whole piece here first of all the axle needs to be uh, where it was So you got the wheel and you just put one bearing on one side of the wheel. I think it's pretty hard to, I don't know, you just put this little thing in the middle and make sure that it's like this and not like this, okay? Okay, now you put your second bearing on top and you press it just with your fingers, that's it. When you remove the original wheels from your skateboard, you're gonna find out that there are two little discs like this. And make sure when you mount your new wheels that you put one of those discs on the inside of the wheel and the other disc on the outside of the wheel. And then you are ready to um, tighten the wheel. It. So as I mentioned the weak spot before, use some thread lock or screw lock to make sure that the screws are very tight. This one is flat, this one isn't, this one goes out. We got those four screws here. All the screws used here were included with the parts that I ordered, so don't worry about that. I'm just gonna try to. Yeah. Now, this little gear comes to the motor, to the shaft of the motor, like this. So, you put your belt here, the wheel goes like this. The motor turns, the wheel turns. So, you pick the right hex key, put it inside. So the last thing to do is um, put the last nut on the wheel. Demonstration again. So that's about it. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, share. Also make sure to follow my Instagram account. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and peaceful handshake. Oh, it's a high five. <laughs>